So, biking 410 miles across the country with zero training or experience didn't seem too crazy in my head. But then there I was, actually doing it. I'll be honest, that next morning, I fell way in over my head. So it's day two of the actual trail. I ended up going 30 minutes further than my hotel because there was some address complications. So it was 30 minutes back to actually get to the hotel. So I lost an hour of just, yep. <laughs> I've quickly realized that this is just a mental game with yourself physically. I'm a lot better than yesterday morning. I'm actually hydrated, had a good breakfast, and I'm learning a lot. I'm learning very quickly too. <laughs> so hopefully today's trip goes good, and tomorrow we can try 100 kilometers in a day. That is the goal. Okay, let's go. Today is much better. Warmer, less wind, and uh, my butt's not that sore. Cheers to that. Check out that mountain right there. Could you imagine if the trail went on that? <laughs> That'd suck. We made it to Yoju in pretty good timing. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and head to the hotel, rest up, take it easy, get some dinner, and tomorrow, that's the big one. That's that's the one where we're gonna do 100 kilometers. Today I just had to make sure, like, if I still wanted to do this <laughs> and kinda get a sense of, like, my actual speed, like, how much of the GPS is accurate, like, to time frames, and today proved that, yes, it's accurate. <laughs> I'm, I was just very slow the past two days. It doesn't appear to be a bike parking area at this hotel. So, I mean, I just need a, a pole or something. <laughs> just gotta lock this bad boy up. That'll do. Not bad, not bad. With the rest of the evening to go, I decided to take a walk through the city of Yoju. 
I quickly discovered that it's a major center of contemporary South Korean ceramics and hosts the World Ceramic Exposition every year. Well, sadly it looks like I'm a little too early for the festival. But, duck bench. I then headed over to the nearby Seleksu Temple. It is known as one of the only lakeside temples in South Korea. There she is, so beautiful. Taking a break. Got four hours left. Been biking since 9:30 in the morning. It is two o'clock right now. Ah. <laughs> the main problem is just my ass. <sighs> I think it's just had enough. This is tough. I figured I'd film this. You, know, you can't really see anything, probably. Uh, we've lost daylight here in the mountains. About 30, 30 to 40 minutes from the Airbnb. And I really wish that the GPS would account for the fact that you're going uphill 
because uh, this is brutal. This is exactly the type of situation I didn't want to be in, but <sighs> gotta keep going one pedal at a time and I hate mountains. Absolutely hate them though. I just spent an hour ascending and descending an entire mountain in pitch black darkness. But everything was worth it because I'm having the best lemon tea of my entire life. So to get back on the trail, the GPS had me on the interstate for a good like 10, 20 minutes. And I gotta say, I wouldn't mind taking that the whole way down for the rest of the trip. I mean, sure, it's not as scenic, but you know, the, the only real downside is that you're riding next to high-speed truck, which I mean, that got me thinking, you know, this whole trip is kind of a uh, putting yourself in life or death scenarios. I mean, would you rather be stranded on a mountain in pitch darkness or riding on a interstate with high-speed vehicles. It's really just pick your poison at this point. I think it's funny too, every morning I wake up sore and depressed. <laughs> just, just not wanting to go forward, like I just want to go home, get this over with. But then as soon as I, you know, start moving around, get some food in my stomach, it's just like night and day, your body just wakes up and it's like, all right, let's get back to it. I keep expecting to hop on my saddle and my butt just feel the same as it did <laughs> uh, when I last got off of it. But no, I feel great. Day four, off to a pretty good start. I definitely just want a really big meal though. Hopefully we'll find somewhere. Update! I realized that I have been neglecting the power of coffee. He's kind of scary. I'm going to leave now. It's been a good trip today. Day four has had a very chill vibe. Three o'clock now, and I can tell my energy is getting a little low. Coffee's worn off. But yeah, I mean, we've made great time. Uh, I got like two hours of riding left to do. So, yeah. If I find a nice cafe, I might just get one more thing of food more water we're running a bit low and keep going i need some sunglasses too though yeah the dry eye itchiness is really kicking in today We're looking for some sunglasses so I don't get an eye infection. 
<laughs> yeah, I pulled this little guy out of my eyeball last night. Yeah, I just gotta stop. It's a really big mountain. It just keeps going. If I get on my bike and try to pedal up it, it's about the same speed as walking the bike, so. It's hot too. This is the hottest day so far. Which, I was hoping so, because, you know, I'd like to maybe take a dip in the beach when we get the boost on. I couldn't imagine doing this in the summer. Props to all the people that's done it in, like, June and July. You see that? That's what we love to see. Hell yeah. Woo!
so people keep asking me why. Why did I decide to do this journey? And I can think of a few reasons. I could say it's because I wanted to challenge myself in a way I never have before. I could say it was to help deal with the grief of losing my mother earlier in the year. I could say, hey, I got a GoPro and I wanted to use it. <laughs> but above everything, it felt like something I needed to do. I got to devote an entire week to just soaking up as much as I could of this beautiful country, meeting wonderful hosts, eating delicious food, and God, seeing those mountains never got old. As I rode the train home, I looked out at the many mountains and rivers that I'd spent a week getting to know. Recognizing different paths I took, it felt like hitting the rewind button on a VCR in a bittersweet kind of way. All of the hundreds of kilometers melted from days into just a few hours. Now I may not be as fast or efficient as a train or car or airplane, but for a moment there, I felt pretty damn close. <laughs>